time to do a roll call. Tony Richmond, here. Patrick Barhami, someone to be here. Gilbert Skeeter, and Alfredo Benito, here. Barry Weiss, here. Dean Cutler, Matthew Dunn is excused. Joseph Sitkin, here. Mike Sitkin, here. Frank Leon, yes, here. Ben Bessley, here. Peter Zagori, here. Mikhail Israeli, I don't, is it me? Come? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have a call. Thank you. Uh, any public comments? Hearing none. We'll move on. Item four. Presentation, discussion, and motion regarding response to cease and desist letter. Are you with us? I'm with you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, the floor. Thank you. Um, I'd like to make a motion for the board to consider. The board has received a letter from Adrian Riskin requesting that the bid cease and desist from committing certain alleged violations of the Brown Act. In order to avoid unnecessary litigation and without admitting any violation of the Brown Act, I move that the bid hereby unconditionally commit that it will cease and desist from and not repeat the following uh, three operations. Number one, requiring members of the public to provide identification to attend board meetings. Number two, using language in the agenda for personnel matters that does not meet the requirements of the Brown Act. And number three, communicating between a majority of the board members via email on a matter within the board's jurisdiction. Second. Thank you. Any discussion on the matter? Hey, could, you, could you repeat the last thing? Yeah, number three? Yeah. Communicating between a majority of the board members via email on a matter within the board's jurisdiction. So this is an intervention that's making these requests to the board. And he's interpreting the Brown Act. And so legally, this hasn't been tested. Well, we, we have, have we discussed Yes, it has. And this has been discussed with council. This is on recommendations of council. Our council. Our council. So that would mean that basically any communication would only happen during the meeting? Or? No, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that. It, okay. It's any action that is within this board's jurisdiction. That's all it means. Any and nothing else. Okay. Okay. I understand. Okay. And it's been no, second. With no further discussion, all your, uh, all your votes, all in favor? All opposed? I'm sorry. Thank you for your count. Need a full count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, four. Opposed? Motion opposed, one opposed. Motion passes. Motion passes, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Six. One, two, three. No, I'm sorry, one, two. No, I'm saying item five. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right. We have a letter. We have a letter from council that I would like your approval of. This is for a retainer. For a, yes, a retainer letter from council that I would like your approval of. I'm just going to read it out loud. Yeah, Presentation, ahead, discussion, please. and motion to approve retaining of the law firm Bradley and Gomez for legal consultation and to answer the cease and desist at $400 per month. And you all have a copy of that. Yes. Do I have a motion to approve? I um, make a motion. And a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion on the matter? Yes, I can discuss the legal matter. Go ahead and return. Go ahead. When is this in effect? It actually has been in effect. We have already uh, we have already used uh, counsel to the tune of approximately $2,400 yes. to, to date. So I'm really asking for a, a 
a, uh, an approval to have already spent $2,400 to get to be on council. And probably another, uh, I'll probably double that by the time we're done. So roughly forty eight hundred dollars. Something in the neighborhood, but it's but it's open. This is just a letter to uh, basically an agreement uh, for uh, to retain counsel for legal services for this matter. At her rate of four hundred dollars an hour. And I think if I read the letter right, it, there were certain parts of it that she didn't feel she needed to do that she would use an assistant and that's for right time. and the rate is free. So there's a possibility at the top end of the floor. At the top end of the floor. So so the purpose of this attorney is to, is to uh, protect us in litigation. Specifically in this matter. Yes. So he we're not gonna oh, is he going to there is no litigation. This is just for the so CPRA or what? Uh, no, we adhere to the I don't think litigation. Okay. Just for the just for the ground, just for what this letter says, and nothing else. Would they would they advise us as to adhering to protocol of the Brown Act if we requested in the ongoing? Of course. Oh yes. Just, <laughs> just wanted to academic. Yes, acad wanted academically, to, if yeah, we have a relationship, if we have a relationship, it would have an ongoing relationship, which we could then talk about ongoing. And but, it would be good to know that we were. Always in adherence to that. Yes. Because I know you're going to be gone, and we know you have a good knowledge of it. We hope <laughs> that our next person. Well, not, none of us are happy about this. Thank you. All right. Call for a vote. All in favor? Unanimous. Opposed? It's unanimous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Number six. Now, Mike, you can make that comment if you want. Any comments? Uh, no. Any comments? Uh, not uh, on, the, oh, not yes. on the agenda. Okay. So my comment was, um, after thinking through the discussions that we had at the last meeting, my thought was putting more money toward uh, security patrols might be basically money thrown away. I don't really see the advantage to having them come more often, the amount of money that we would be spending. And the feeling is, we're looking to patrol for criminals. We understand that we have a homeless situation everywhere. I don't think it's a good idea to start, I guess, fighting with the population. I think that's something that the police can do. and. We're all doing what we're supposed to do is we've marked our private properties. I feel like the patrol that we have is probably adequate. Any other comment? No, 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 no just discussion. There's, no, there's I agree, nothing. I agree with Mike completely. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, agree. you know. I, I think you know, we're overprotected. Well, but truth be told, I was frustrated. I had been broken into. Yeah, I know. And you had been broken into. Yes. And that was, I think I was speaking to that frustration. Um, it's also a fact of life. We've been here for 60 plus years in our location. We've been broken into over the years. I don't think this is anything different than great, it's ever great, been. Great. I, 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 you know, I've been not broken into, but vandalized by leaving poop and yeah. urine and my door. You know, I mean, that, that's a. Uh, and yeah, without wasting right. too much time, I mean, do you think it's time to invite uh, maybe uh, uh, Sean, uh, Sean Smith to one of our meetings? I would love to have We had him at the annual property owner. He may not have uh, time. But, you know, not to waste too much time. The board, right. in the 60s, they came in during one week, they came through the skylight, they came through the back door. It was in the 60s. And they broke through the wall. And they broke through the wall. Yes. So these times have not changed. So, They've changed, but they've not really. So I think what we're doing is, in my feeling, in my estimation, I think it's out. You know, my, my building was banking. Tough to get in there. Yeah. No, it takes up. And there's bars in the windows. And the bars are about eight inches apart, maybe a little less, a little bit more. He, no. No car. He got through the bars. 
they so, caught the guy. Yeah, they caught our guys too. But yeah, we, we didn't have to get it. It. Without wasting too much, too much time, I, you know, I, I agree. I agree. I, I, I think there is so much they can do. They don't have jurisdiction to make arrests. I just feel like if they're there, like right in front of CBS, you know, in the corner of Laurel Canyon in Toronto. There's a gentleman who stayed there every single day. I mean, I had seen the cops talk to him and he moved for two hours and then comes back two hours later. And they did something. Well, the issue is the guy you're in on the side. I understand that. He exposed himself. Any other comments on the agenda? Somebody want to move to adjourn? I got to move to adjourn. I got to go for two. All in favor of adjourn. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Senator.